All right, I hope everybody's doing good. Right now, I'm not supposed to work because uh, I'm on quarantine. I had a few family members that tested positive for the coronavirus, which right now, thankfully, they are handling it pretty good. You know, I think they're going to be okay. You know, I was kind of in shock when I heard that they received it. You know, I don't know how they got it, and even if I did know, you know, I probably wouldn't talk too much about it, you know, because, yeah, you know, I mean, that's not really anybody's business, but, anywho, so, you know, luckily they're doing okay, but what I want to talk about in this video is, you know, why I like doing weather videos and vlogs, you know, mainly travel vlogs, I should say, and, uh, you know, I've had people ask me, you know, how come I don't make political videos anymore, which I'll get to that in the end of the video, but, anywho, without trying to get off subject, so, first things first, I want to talk about weather videos. The main reason why I like doing weather videos is because weather, I think weather is cool, don't mind me rubbing my face, I'm sorry, I'm sweating, but, um... You know, I watch a lot of weather channels, you know, from uh, people like Reed Timmer, Scott Peake, Picos Hank, Jeff Piotowski, I, I, don't, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but, you know, I watch many storm chasers, and, you know, I think they're very talented, and you know, it kind of inspires me to do the same thing, you know, even though I've never recorded a tornado itself, you know. I've recorded weather that have produced tornadoes, you know, like once back in, um, it was either late June, early July of 2015 when Michigan had a few tornadoes reported, which I live in Michigan, by the way. You know, Michigan does not get a whole lot of tornadoes, so keep that in mind. So, tornadoes are not a very big thing here in Michigan, but anywho, there was this one day back in June 2015 where there were a few tornadoes reported in Michigan. You know, one in Portland which is halfway between Green Rapids and Lansing and then uh, there was a Another tornado later on that day that happened on the outskirts of Saginaw and Flint and went right through Birch Run and Millington, if I remember correctly. And then uh, uh, the next year, there was uh, this one tornado. It was a weak tornado, but it went on for quite a way. It started southwest of Bangor. And went all the way northeast of Grand Rapids, which from Bangor to Grand Rapids, that's a pretty big distance, you know. And I was living in Kalamazoo at the time of those first few tornadoes I was talking about, so, you know, I didn't see them in person. I saw the damage, but I didn't see the tornadoes in person, nor did I record them. And then, uh... You know, we had another storm, like, earlier this summer. I think it was in June. And there was a tornado about 20 minutes south of where I live that appeared to happen in Lawrence, Michigan. A lot of people say it wasn't a tornado, but if you were to see the tornado damage in person, you know damn well that it was a tornado. There were barns torn up. There were trees down everywhere. I think they said that there was a trailer house that got level two. I don't. I don't know. I don't know where at in Lawrence that happened, but it, it was crazy. And then uh, the last time I recorded a storm with a tornado in the area, and this was actually about four or five days ago, prior to me making this video. We had, you know, it was a really bad night, you know. We were coming back from northern Michigan. There were two really bad severe thunderstorms in the area, you know. We got caught in two of them. 
we were, you know, the first one happened between Big Rapids and Rockford. And that storm produced tornadoes. We got hit with one of the tornadoes. I didn't see the video, or I didn't see the tornado too well because it was dark out. But I recorded a bunch of weather clips that night, which I didn't get the tornado, like I said, because it was dark. But we were driving home, and we got we got hit with it. You couldn't see anything. Like, you know, it was almost a complete blackout because, you know, the wind was blowing the rain like crazy. You know, the rain got heavy. There was lots of hail and... I think the only thing you could see was rain and maybe a few small branches getting blown across the road and I don't know. It, it was it was bad. The only reason I knew that was a tornado was cuz about a minute or so after we passed it I received weather alerts saying that there was a tornado in the Cedar Springs area which is where we were going through and and we were, you know, it, it, it was crazy, you know, it, it was bad. And then the second severe thunderstorm we went through that night wasn't as bad, but it was still pretty severe. Like, rain was heavy, you know, there was floods in some areas, and it, I mean, it was probably one of the most intense storms I have ever recorded, you know, since starting this YouTube channel, you know. Which, keep in mind, you know, my life does not evolve around YouTube, you know. I just like taking storm videos and vlogs and all that shit and posting them, you know. So, yeah. So, I have recorded storms that have produced tornadoes, but I've never actually seen a tornado myself, unfortunately. Which, one of these days I hope to, you know. I mean, I don't want to see one hit my hometown, obviously, but... You know, I'd like to see one. But, um, now on to the vlog videos. So, in 2018, I started doing, you know, small vlog videos. Like, well, I guess they're, they're not really vlogs because I focus on many other things in the video. But, I tried making them into vlogs. And, when I first started it, you know... I thought it was going to be kind of stupid because, you know, I've watched other vlog channels, you know, like Roman Atwood Vlogs, Snow Dogs Vlogs, which is a channel based in Alpena, Michigan, or somewhere around there. And then, uh, I don't, I don't remember any of the other vlog, the Omar, the Omar Gosh videos, those are, his channel is absolutely fantastic. You know, I think he's he does pretty good, but, you know, like I said, you know, when I first did the vlog video myself, you know, because I really didn't do much, you know, other than talking a bunch of things, you know, I was moving out of my mom's old house at the time, and, you know, I kind of made it into a vlog, and honestly, I thought it was going to be stupid at first, but then I uploaded it, and I had a bunch of people comment on that video and say things like, wow, not bad for a first vlog, you know, hey, good job doing this, hey, good job doing that, you know, and that's when I figured, all right, I guess I'll keep these videos going. So the second vlog I did was a vlog where we uh, went and saw fireworks in South Haven, Michigan, which is about 15 minutes from where I live, and that video got a lot of attention and views and all that, which, keep in mind, I don't just make videos for views and attention, you know, I make them for the memories, too. So, no, I don't just do it for attention, if that's what some of you are going to comment and say, you know. But, um, so, like, it's... I'm sorry, I'm just super sweaty, and it's really bugging my nose right now, but... Anywho, um, so... A third vlog I did, you know, which was us, you know, having a little family event. Eventually, we were supposed to go to another fireworks show, but... 
Um, we got rained out. There was a really bad storm in the area, and we got rained out completely. And that was originally going to be the last vlog video I did, but you know, the reason why I kept my vlogging going, even though I went on, I went a few years without doing it, is because you know, um, the last vlog I did, which was the vlog we got rained out on included my papa after i took that vlog about like two or three weeks after my papa passed and you know i was highly devastated i i grew very close to him you know one of my cousins grew very close to him as well so when he passed away i lost just about everything you know i i couldn't believe he passed and you know about five or six months later i was going through my videos because you know originally i was gonna take the videos down because i thought they were kind of ridiculous and i looked through the last video i or the last vlog i took which was a vlog where we got rained out and there were some clips that included my papa and it really got me thinking you know like if I had waited another three or four weeks to do this, he would have not have been around. So, after watching that, you know, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to keep making these vlogs. I don't care if people don't like them or what. But, you know, I started vlogging again in uh, early June, or actually late May, and... Uh, you know, I've did a lot. I've done a lot of vlogging and you know weather videos this past uh, season, and for that I think it's cool. You know, I'm gonna try and keep it going because you know, like I said, I don't just make the vlogs for attention. You know, I, I make them for memories. You know, I don't care what other people think. If you guys like those vlogs, then I appreciate it. You know, because like I said, you know. My life does not evolve around YouTube, but at the same time, I like doing these kind of things, you know. But now on to the last subject. So like I stated in the first video, there for a while I was doing vlog or I was doing uh, political videos. I did it for about a year and a half and then I just cut it out because you know I you know, I was getting tired of them, you know, they were getting frustrating, and it just, there was so much I wanted to say, and at the same time, I just didn't want to sound like a dumbass while saying it, you know, so I just, I cut it out, and then one day I made this one video, and it, um, let me tell you, I regretted making this video, I'm not going to say what it was, you know, but I made this one video i had it up for about a good three weeks or so and then you know the video got a lot of hate and i just you know a lot of times i don't let things like that get to me you know normally i don't because i'll post something and you know i just don't give a fuck about the negativity people give me and a lot of times i don't receive a lot of negativity but this video you know it kind of screwed up my channel really badly, and, you know, after putting that video up, that's when I realized, you know, doing political videos wasn't really my thing, you know, and I took that video down, took some of the other political videos I did down, because, you know, they were just starting to hurt my channel, and, you know, people look at my channel, and they see I have weather vlogs, and, or weather videos, and vlog videos, and, they're like, dude, that does not mix very well, you know. And I have started another channel for political videos because I don't want them on this channel. I'm not going to say what the other channel is because it's not, you know, it's not really anybody's business. Like if they're watching this, but, you know, I just, you know, some things 
you'll say and then you know you'll regret saying it you know and that's just what I did you know this subject I thought too much for myself and what I wanted to say and I just said some things that just should have never been said you know and for that I still still to this day I think about it and you know I just wish I didn't you know but yeah, that's why I don't make political videos anymore. I'm not going to voice my political views. Because, you know, that's not what I do. I try and keep that stuff to myself. You know, I understand there's a lot of events going on here in the country. You know, like uh, the situation with Cannon Hannah. And then, you know, the situation with Black Lives Matter and all that stuff. And then all the rioting and looting and all that shit too. You know, that's... It's a big deal, you know, but right now I just, like I said, there are so many things I want to say about it, but at the same time, I just don't want to sound like a dumbass, you know. Either that or I just don't want to say something again that's going to make me regret it, you know, because I've already done that once with this channel, and that's something I do not want to do again, you know. We all make mistakes, you know, some mistakes you can easily let go of, and then other, you know, some mistakes you just, you live with it, you know. But anywho, I'm going to cut this video. I do apologize that um, this video turned out to be really long, you know. I'm I'm horrible at making short videos. I, I, I really do apologize, you know. I'm kind of a slow talker, so, I mean, unfortunately, yeah. But, anywho, I appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch this, you know. Again, my family's doing okay. Hopefully it stays that way. Just be safe out there. We're going to make it through this coronavirus stuff, I'm sure. But, anyways, I hope everybody's doing good. Thanks for watching.